Elizabeth Arden cream. This one's wife. She's at it again. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. One of the massive advantages that you gain from my work is the fact that it enables you to make sense of behavior that had you scratching your head. For most people that come to my work, it's as a consequence of a personal ensnarement with a narcissist, often romantic and familial, sometimes in a work environment, sometimes socially, perhaps with a neighbor. I've advised thousands of people through consultations and helped millions of people through my videos and blog articles grasp what they're dealing with, why it's happening, and, importantly, what they can do about it. But such is the efficacy of my work. It goes wider than that in that it helps you start to understand why people who you've perhaps never met but have an impact upon your life behave in the way that they do. It helps you understand why politicians make the decisions that they do, that world leaders have acted in the way that they had, that famous people like pop stars or authors or film stars, business individuals have acted in the fashion that they have. It's like being given a key which enables you to unlock that understanding. Frequently, I see in various f places, a particular forum below the line, people asking, but why did this happen? Why did they do that? And of course, if they understood narcissism, it would help them unlock and dissipate their own confusion. This still happens, of course, in relation to this one's wife. An example of this was posted by somebody who goes by the name of Medium Proposal 6331, who has provided their observations on the Saint This One's Wife, they use her full name, as you know I do not, on Reddit. This person has written, Please let me know if I understand this correctly. This one's wife is alleged to have refused, on principle, to stay at a luxury hotel that housed an exotic bird, albeit captive, a presumably well-cared-for bird. Yet this week, this one's wife is travelling to be hosted and fated in Nigeria, a country where the practice of female genital mutilation is among the highest in the world, and numbers continue to be on the rise. I'm doubtful that she will throw her weight around as she did with the exotic bird on this most important issue. Perhaps she is going to speak out and protest female empowerment indeed. And thus Medium Proposal 6331 highlights the hypocrisy of this one's wife. She's at it again, being the hypocrite that she is. But people may ask themselves, why is it that she gets her feathers ruffled, pun intended, in relation to the exotic bird being housed at a hotel? but then says nothing in relation to female uh, genital mutilation and fails to say, actually, I'm not coming to Nigeria because your track record with regard to female genital mutilation is such that I cannot countenance it. It works like this. In relation to the hotel and housing an exotic bird, her narcissism recognised an opportunity for facade management, that she could kick up a stink about it and go and stay elsewhere, whilst appearing to care about animals. Thus, facade is managed, boxes ticked to assert control over people by appearing to be caring, fuel is received by people saying, good for you this one's wife, great job looking out for the exotic bird. And thus... She's able to do all of those things just by saying something, and there's no detriment to her. She can stay in a, another hotel without difficulty, or she might even have stayed in that hotel but still spoken out about the bird. Thus, there clearly is no detriment to her. She stays in the same hotel, manages a facade, and makes it seem like she cares. So why doesn't she do the same in relation to the women who have been suffering genital mutilation in Nigeria? 
Well, at its simplest, she doesn't care about them because she doesn't care about anybody. She thinks that she does, but that's just a ruse generated by her narcissism. But she doesn't actually care about anybody other than herself. The fact is that to speak out about female genital mutilation would actually take some degree of effort and, of course, would then mean that she wouldn't be able to go to Nigeria. And as it stands, opportunities for this one's wife are drying up. They're not exactly flowing thick and fast in her direction. Thus, self-interest prevails over her supposed compassion, which, of course, is demonstrative of her narcissism. She doesn't actually have any principles, because her principles fall to one side, subject to the needs of her narcissism in the pursuit of the prime aims. Thus, as Medium Proposal 6331 legitimately points out, surely you would speak out and protest as a consequence of being this empowered female, this ardent feminist? No. She only speaks out about female empowerment when it's easy to do so for the purposes of facade management and the assertion of control. But when it comes to speaking out in relation to something which might then stop her getting a benefit, she'll fall silent. Because of the lack of opportunities that she's facing, the opportunity to go to Nigeria, having a trip paid for to generate some Netflix footage, enable her to claim that she's looking at her 43% heritage, etc., it's too good an opportunity for her to miss with regard to the prime aims. And thus, those principles of standing up for females, well, they're conveniently shoved to one side. It's a little bit like the way that she behaved in relation to the Saudi blood diamonds, that for somebody who claims to be an individual that cares about other human beings and stands up for human rights, well, that all goes to one side when she's got some glittery gems that she can wear. The fact is, for this one's wife, her principles don't really exist. As was once said, if you don't like my principles, I have others. I think it was Groucho Marx that said that. And it's similar with this one's wife. She is completely a hypocrite, but she doesn't see it. She's a complete hypocrite because her narcissism must maintain that flexibility so that she faces all ways at once, like a weather vane going manic in a storm. She is able to say, I stand up for young women, except, of course, when it suits me not to do so. I will support women and their female empowerment, except when it clashes with something that I need. I believe in human rights, apart from when I want to wear some sparkly diamonds. At the end of the day, her narcissism ensures that she pursues the prime aims. Because she has no sense of guilt, no conscience, no moral compass, that she's morally bereft and ethically bankrupt, this means that she can be the hypocrite without any sense of shame, embarrassment or concern. It simply doesn't occur to her because there's nothing there to hold her back. And, as Medium Proposals wrote in the head heading to what they commented about, they put cognitive dissonance. How does she justify this? She doesn't. It doesn't even occur to her. And, of course, she's never put in a position whereby anybody actually asks her. There's no member of the press that go is allowed to get near her to say to her, you've come here to Nigeria, you claim to be a feminist, what's your stance in relation to the high rates of female genital mutilation within Nigeria? Do you not think it would have been better for you not to have made this trip? Nobody's allowed to ask her that, because of course that's too difficult and a threat to control. She doesn't justify it because she has no internal system that requires justification. Externally, she might be called upon to justify it, but no questions of that nature ever get near her because of the PR machine that prevents that from happening. She never takes on a difficult probing interview. That's not allowed because those around her who advise realise she would get into too much difficulty. So she never agrees to do that. It's only ever something that's soft-soaping. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.